Hi everyone. Are you ready to get started on slide number seven? Let's do it. Go up to your plus sign, go to that little arrow next to it, and remember to choose the blank slide for slide seven. Let's check out on our document and see what it is we're going to be looking up on this one. Slide seven, herbivore found in this park, full name. I need its scientific name and a picture of this herbivore. All right, before we get started, let's think about what a herbivore eats. Herbivore, those first four letters right here should remind you of a plant. A herbivore is a plant eater and it has to live in your park. It has to live there. You can't just choose any random herbivore. It has to be one that is living in your national park. It also needs its full name. Let me give you an example of that. If you thought a deer would live in your park and you just were to write deer right here, that's not the full name. What kind of deer is it? Is it a mule deer? Is it a white-tailed deer? You need its full name. And we'll look up its scientific name and find a picture of it. Now we're set. Let me show you how you can find a herbivore that lives in your park. To start with, let's go back to that great website that is your park's name, Great Sand Dunes, and then NPS, National Park Service. That's the one you've been working on so far. When you get here, we're not going to do plan your visit this time, but we want to learn about the park. Your park um, website might look a little bit different than mine, so you might have to look around a little bit to see it. But if it's like mine, under learn about the park, right under the word nature, you'll find the names of animals and plants that are found in your park. I need to find an animal. And when I click on it and move over here, it shows me amphibians and birds and fish and spiders and mammals and reptiles that live in the park. You can choose any one of these creatures for any of your answers on here, as long as it's a herbivore for this slide. I think I'll start with mammals. I know a lot about mammals, might recognize what they eat. So click on mammals if you have that there, or you can click on birds or whichever one you're interested in. And when I get to mammals, right underneath it, mine says, if I click right on this blue line, I'll, it'll take me to a complete list of every single mammal that lives in my park and reptile and amphibian and fish, if you're interested in fish. You can also look on this page and maybe find one right away that you want to use. Here's a kangaroo rat and a mule deer. Well, I know that mule deer are herbivores. There's black bears, there's these squirrels and mountain lions and pronghorn. And if you see one that you like, you can go ahead and choose that. There's elk and there's an American pika. Well, that's a cute little animal. Let's say you'd like to choose the American, the American pika, but you're not sure exactly what it eats. It says that it gathers mounds of grass. And I wanna make sure that that it's a herbivore and that it doesn't eat insects also. Click on Google and we're gonna do a Google search. So what you can do, I'm gonna put the word American on here cause it's called the American pika. You can type in American pika or you're gonna type in your animal. And if you put the word diet after it and then click return, it will tell you what they eat. You can see I've already done that right down here. And it tells me right away, look at that first sentence, pikas are herbivores. They love to eat grasses, weeds, and tall flowers. Great, I found my herbivore. Next I need to do, now that I know it's the American pika, I need to find a picture of the American pika to use. We're going to use the picture for a background. I'm just gonna delete the word diet and search for the American pika image. Now, because we're going to use it for the background, you need to leave some open space someplace on the picture where you can put a text box that will be easy enough to read. This picture looks pretty good right here. There's room, I could do some writing on it. Here's some room right here in this one. This one's adorable, but there's probably not a whole lot of room, maybe up here that I could write. So think about that when you're choosing a picture. 
find a picture that there's a little bit of room for you to do some writing um, on. I think I'll choose this guy. So when I click on it, make sure you click on it to make it big. Then you're going to do a two finger click and you're going to do save image as. Save image as. Go back to your slides. And now we're going to put it in the background. Go up to the word background. You have it saved. So choose your image. I called mine number one. I did that before so it would be a little quicker. And press done and there you go. You have a picture here and I have some room to do my writing. I need to include certain things on this slide. The first thing I need to do is add a text box to write what I'm going to write. On this, let's call this slide, this is my herbivore. There's my herbivore. The next thing I need to do, I'm going to make a new text box underneath it here so I can move the title over when I'm done maybe and make a new text box and I need to say what the name of this animal is. It is the American pika. The last thing I need to do on here is to find out its scientific name. So I will go ahead and type in scientific name and put a dash and now I need to go back to the Google and type in American pika scientific name. And I already started that for you. There it is, scientific name of the American pika. If you did it correctly, you will see two words right here. The first word is capitalized and the second one is lowercase. And it'll be a word that's really hard to find or to pronounce. It almost looks like it's from a different language, which it is. It's Latin. And so all animals have scientific names. Because it's hard to spell, I'm going to copy and copy it and then paste it into my slideshow. But let me show you a trick. When you paste it in like this, control V, it always wants to give you that white background. And what I'll do is I'm just going to put my mouse up here. And now that it's right here, I'm going to look at it and just retype it. So I don't have to go through all of that hassle of trying to get rid of that white background. So now that it's right here, I can type it in. Notice the first word is capitalized and the second one isn't. And now I have it like this and I can just put my mouse here and then delete this word. And I have all the information that I need right here. Herbivore, American pika, scientific name, and there's the scientific name. You can arrange this so that it can be on here. Now, I'm not going to take the time to show you that you need to make these bigger and bold and change the size and change the font and change the color so that it looks beautiful. And then you need to add animations and a transition, I'm just gonna click ahead because I have done this already to show you that when you're done, it should look like this. Nice and colorful, you have the word herbivore, American pika, there's its full name, and here's its scientific name. And that's all you need for your slide about the herbivore.